Hi, my name is Utando Paduza. I am the chief curator of Red Location um, Art Gallery. Um, the municipality has had a, a sister city relationship with the city of Jacksonville for over 20 years. Uh, and as part of that partnership, we've delivered a number of projects across various areas, public health, infrastructure, as well as arts and culture. Uh, so last year we had an occasion to meet with uh, Players by the Sea, a community art theatre in Jacksonville, and they expressed an interest in coming over to South Africa to uh, conduct workshops and collaborate with our local performers. So we are very excited that this has happened now. Um, we have been able to connect Players by the Sea with the Mandela Bay Theatre Complex and Stage World Theatre School. So in over a, a, over a period of a week, um, Players by the Sea with the local um, facilitators as well with the Stage World um, Theatre School students have been in, in, in part of workshops that focused on movement, uh, storytelling, uh, vocal instruction and vocal training. So we're very excited that these workshops have happened and today's showcase is a culmination of the work that these students with the Falestad have done over the week. I think with this partnership that we is, grow is beginning now, we hope and pray that we'll be able to grow it and see our productions going to Jacksonville and ja uh, productions from Jacksonville coming to Kabecha. So we're very excited that, that this is happening and we are very keen to ensure that uh, our artists can unable to access these kind of opportunities because it is through these partnership and cultural exchanges that our artists can do have international exposure and be able to grab hold of these opportunities. All right, um, um, the responsibility of a programs manager is to ensure that there's programs that are run through um, the stages of the theater. And also the responsibility is to ensure that we give opportunities to all the artists, um, all the performing artists that are around our metro, you know. Uh, so that is our responsibility to, to make sure that the performing arts um, in the Nelson Mandela Bay is alive. Um, it, um, it's very important. Firstly, um, on behalf of Mandela Bay Theatre Complex, we would like to thank uh, the Nelson Mandela Municipality for giving us all, for, for partnering with us uh, with this project. You know, it, 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 it speaks to um, Igabecha, you know, because uh, at Gabecha we've got a diverse, you know, um, 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 it's, a, it's full of diversity because you've got different cultures that are in the Nelson Mandela Bay. So um, when you've got projects like this, they help us to, to, to you know, to understand that uh, what other people or what other um, um, cultures or what other, you know, races, you know, um, uh, do. And when it came to this project, it was very exciting, you know, um, especially when we were working with um, uh, the students of Stage World, you know, because you could see the diversity even um, with them and um, having the production on the stage. It was just beautiful. Um, it's very important um, so that um, they understand what's happening on the other side, you know, and and um, and and for them to understand that uh, the sky is the limit. Whatever that they do on the stages of of their local stages, they need to understand that they, they can work up and and groom themselves and 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 work hard and understand that um, there's nothing that is stopping them to also go international. So those, those are very important because, you know, when the guys um, um, were here, they, 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 with the workshops and everything else that, had, that, that uh, took place, and you could see the, the, the eagerness on the students um, for them to learn more. And, 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 and I heard, uh, um, I think it was two or three of them saying that their plan is to go abroad. So, you, so they want to, to, to go international. So that tells you that um, 
there is some kind of eagerness, you know, and them wanting to know what's happening on the other side of the world. It would be so exciting, you know, to have uh, the production again, uh, the, the partnership, and uh, to have uh, the team to come back to South Africa again. And at this time, um, we make it big. We make it um, a week, <laughs> even more than a week, if we need to, um, so that more people can get the opportunity, you know. I feel there's much more that we can do. Um, and, and, and I mean, when we had the students, you know, they were so excited and they loved, you know, uh, the, 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 the performance. So um, it would be really great if we can have um, another um, a, a session. My name is Klabius Ozweni. I stay here in Kabecha, Nelson Mandela Bay. I'm an actor, writer, director, and arts activist. Basically, I do everything. Uh, a check of all trades, if you'd like to say. Uh, my involvement in the showcase was multi-dimensional. Um, started off as a facilitator, uh, doing workshops, um, combining with the guys from Jacksonville, Florida, with the students from Stage World Theatre School. Um, we did a variety of workshops just to in tune their mind towards the production that we're looking for at the end of the day. So I started with the facilitator doing workshops and acting, movement and creative thinking uh, in a process whereby we create work from nothing. And also we just working from the title that we had. So we had to do a little bit of research and then we go on to the floor. And then the second hat I am wearing um, is the director's hat uh, because I had to work with the director from, from Florida, Jeremy, uh, who was quite good. So we had to share quite a bit of our experiences before we go on to the floor. So I was also part of the directing team uh, of the production that we had. And it's quite an interesting uh, dynamic on how two directors can come together. It's always going to be a clash of ideas because one director works in a certain way and the other works in a certain way, but we always try and find synergies so that the production at the end does not suffer and comes out great. And then the third hat <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing, I'm an actor. I was playing the voice and the spirit of uh, Dr. Nelson Mandela in the production whereby I needed to go deeper and dig into one of the letters or two of the letters that you wrote whilst you were still in prison. And the other voice came from when he was released. And what journey did you go through? Because there's always a passage and a journey. A man or anyone, in fact, whether a man or woman, has to go through. You know, so in that process, there was a lot of that in the making of the theater, so playing um, quite a giant. I needed to reserve myself in the beginning, but as the production went on, he was faced with a lot of challenges. I wouldn't say demons, but a lot of challenges because once you are a leader, you will be faced with challenges. Everyone is seeking your attention. You're getting lots of advices from all over the world and you need to make a stand at some point. So it was one of those tricky parts to play as much as it wasn't big in a production, but I needed to hold the core in the center and respect the name, but also put in some creative elements into the production. Working with another director is, is always tricky and always interesting at the same time, you know. Um, it's like having heaven and hell <laughs> in the same room because you're going to get um, two different minds and two different minds who use two different techniques and methodologies. So hence, I think the workshops helped us in the beginning to find a synergy because they brought in a lot of experience because they worked in the theater for longer, you know, and the experience they brought is because also the idea or, or the, 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 the content of the production, they came up with it. So they already had their pre-thoughts on the, on, the, on the production and how they wanted to shape. So meeting me and I'm looking at them, I'm like, no, 
Now we have to use incorporate students into this production. It changes the whole dimension of what they wanted to present. So they needed to make sure that they feature the students in the production. But it's quite a beautiful experience because then you get to learn how to research, how to come up with content that can talk to a people. Because what I said to them was, working with people who come from the theatre and they do not have their own methodology, but they got to learn from me because I use docudrama and exactly that's what we were doing. We were documenting something from the past onto today's stage. So that's what I call docudrama. That's my style of theatre, what I normally do. So their idea with my style, it worked perfectly because then they got to the, okay, this is what <laughs> we were actually doing without having a name for it. So you need those kind of people who can bring content to the floor and also your creative mind to say, this is what we can do to make your content beautiful. But then at the end of the day, it is our content. The exchanges are very important, you know, um, not only f only from the learning side of things, of how people are living, but also from the social economic development of things, because we we find that our cities or our experiences as a people are the same wherever we go. It is just that the levels may not be the same. So these exchanges open up your mind into learning what other people are going through and what you're going through and you can find ways of solutions to those problems. So for us as the artists it's quite beautiful these exchanges. We get to learn from other artists and we get to share with other artists ways of working, ways of building bridges, intercontinental bridges because we are we, we the world is very close to each other now that it was in the past you know it's at the click of your fingers you are in in, in, in in Florida in the US but you only get to see it through the media but when you meet the people who are authentic who stay there give you the real experience so these exchanges are great in those in those um, in, in that sense you know so that we as South Africans can grow in our way and thinking and seeing how uh, black Americans are living and what are their, are their thoughts on solutions of their problems. Maybe also we share with them and maybe we can learn a thing or two on how to solve South African problems. So these exchanges are quite beautiful in that and also it's a, for, for, for the arts as well is, is always a great plus to add on something, not only on, on one CV, but on the general scope of the arts um, that matters and talk to issues that matters with people who can relate to you. Um, the exchange can grow in many ways. Um, obviously, it always depends on the budget. The economics of things always matter because you need to have a budget to travel, you need to have a budget to put systems in place. So I think in order for the exchange to grow, whether it's from the municipality side of you, from our side, we can only bring the arts because we do not have the finances for it. So the municipality and government and the Mandela Bay Theatre Complex putting their heads together to say this is how we want to make sure this production goes and it's beautiful because we speak English, they speak English so production wise it works you know we are not going to have a barrier of not understanding language whether we travel to Florida to create a production and bring it to South Africa or vice versa so I would love to see it grow in that manner. I am Jeremy Rackett, the Artistic Director for Players by the Sea Theatre in Jacksonville, Florida. Players by the Sea is a local community theatre in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. We've been around for about 58 years. We're now moving into our 58th season and excited to this year be able to move over into now a, um, a cultural international endeavor with the city of Quebeca in South Africa. 
Players by the Sea not only focuses on bringing art into the communities through live performances, concerts, um, and art, but also through education of arts. And uh, through the program Creativity Behind the Curtain, um, we've been able to take uh, the foundation of that program and bring the arts into communities where arts isn't available or provided, um, which is why this time we're excited that we can take this program internationally and working with now the Stage World Theater School students um, doing a week-long study and workshops um, culminating up to now what we have as a showcase. The process working um, with the Stage Road students and the local theater practitioners have been absolutely incredible. Not only have we been able to work with the students hand to hand and learn from them and as well as the local practitioners, but also um, being able to engage with locals here and local government officials and learn more about not just the arts and culture, but the needs of the country and the needs of the city and how the arts can make an impact on the city and, and exactly how much the arts is needed here. On a personal level, I would say that this experience has reignited the flame again. Um, it has broadened the vision um, for being an impact um, to being a leader. It has also um, allowed me to understand more about culture and arts outside of just my community. Um, so it's been an amazing experience. Um, words cannot explain the f how full my heart is and how excited I am to take back everything I've learned here, take it back to the States, and then have further discussions on how we can continue a partnership and bridge the gap. I would love to see this cultural exchange that has been created through this first endeavor um, to be able to grow into an international partnership of brothers and sisters in the arts. Um, eventually growing to celebrate black art and celebrate um, individualism and celebrate um, our differences and celebrate our cultures and celebrate um, our triumphs um, and give honor to our ancestors who have paved the way uh, and, and everyone who have come before us that have been artists who have performed on the Mandela Bay Opera stage and be able to um, leave our future generations with the message that um, we matter, art matters, and together we will change the world. <laughs>